From the Charles Schwab Challenge at Colonial Country Club in Fort Worth, Texas, PJ Tour rookie Harry Hall making his debut appearance at the Charles Schwab, holding his first 36 hole lead or co lead in his career. In his 26th career start, Hall looking to become a PGA Tour winner for the first time, but he got off to a rough start. On the sixth hole, his second shot from 152 uh, doesn't go very far. In fact, it almost hit some fans. He double bogey the hole, dropped to 10 under par. More trouble on seven. Second shot flies it over the green and out of bounds into the woods. Double bogey again, drops to eight under. Back to back double bogeys, but it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And 12 for Birdie. 11 feet drains it back to nine under par for the hall on 17 for birdie from nine feet out it's in to 10 under par hall tied for the lead at 10 under par after the third round adam shank five strokes back at seven under entering the round now he's eight under on the 11th this is his third shot on the par five from 110 it's at 110 within inches. He'd tap in for birdie, move to nine under par, over to Shank on 13. Long birdie putt here, 43 feet from the hole for the lead, and it's just lipping out. He'd settle for par, stays at nine under par. Shank would get another chance at the co lead on 18. His birdie putt from 16 feet, and this time it drops. Moves to 10 under, and the co-lead, Adam Shank and Harry Hall. They will sit atop the leaderboard after 54 holes. It's Shank's third time in individual stroke play events that he's got the lead or the co-lead after 54. Still looking for his very first PGA Tour victory, Harry Hall. Looking to become the first player since Sergio Garcia in 2001 to win the Charles Schwab in his debut appearance. He holds the third round leader co-lead for the first time in his career and this his 26th start. Harris English just one stroke off the lead heading into Sunday's final round. And for more on the Charles Schwab challenge we welcome in Rick Gaiman host of the First Cup podcast. Let's start with a couple of guys who've never won on tour before in Harry Hall and Adam Shank. Uh, how have they gotten to the top here and how do they hold on to this lead on Sunday? They've both gotten to the top in a little bit different ways. Adam Shank has been much more well-rounded this week. He has not been relying on any one skill set. He's just gone out there and he's played three really great rounds of golf, which has uh, been a little bit out of out of the norm recently. We were talking just a bit earlier. He missed uh, four out of his last five cuts leading into this event. He did have a baby, though, so maybe that's throwing off his sleep schedule a little bit, but it looks like the game is getting back on track. And then Harry Hall is much more reliant on his putter, but Russ, that's not unusual for him. He is seriously one of the best putters that we have on the PGA Tour so if he's not making putts he's usually in big trouble luckily through three rounds he's been able to roll enough in to keep his name at the top of the board 26 career start on the PGA Tour for the rookie Harry Hall of England and he is in the lead along with Adam Shank and then you've got guys like Victor Hovland and Scotty Scheffler the world number one lurking Hovland what does he have to do on Sunday to get himself amongst the leaders Sure. So I think we should zoom out a little bit and remember that uh, the the leading score from round two to round three got closer to even par. We went from 12 under par to 10 under par because Colonial is getting baked out. It's getting firm and fast. They are ripping up these greens and they're ripping up this golf course on Monday. So they don't care if they lose this golf course on Sunday, which is good for Victor Hovland because when things get difficult, when things get firm and fast, if you can hit it far, you can hit it high. That leads to the strengths of the best players in the world, Victor Hovland certainly being one of the best ball strikers that we have in the world. So he might be too far back, but the setup that we're supposed to get on Sunday with those firm and fast conditions should really uh, lend to his skill set better than most. Hovland uh, tied for the best round of the day on Saturday, four under 66. Different story for Scotty Scheffler, the world number one bogeyed three of his last five holes. What happened down the stretch? 
So there is really nothing you could say wrong about Scotty Scheffler's game in the last 18 months. If you want to, you know, m mention any one tiny thing, it would be the fact that he sometimes misses those short to mid range putts. Now the problem, Russ, is when he misses them, it really bleeds itself into the rest of his game. And you could see the frustration on Saturday. You know, he lost two strokes with the putter, and then you saw him coming down the stretch where he was frustrated. He was not hitting solid shots. He was, you know, he had a wedge in uh, from like 73 yards late in his round and he just completely blocked it off you know 30 yards to the right it was very unscotty uh because he allowed the poor putter to to kind of take advantage and uh pull him apart in other directions so if he can just reset get back on track again he's probably too far back but if anybody can do it it's scotty Scheffler. wait a couple of wayward shots and it bled into the rest of his round the world number one he's just like us that's the, he's just like, <laughs> that's every, every golfer there is. All right, let's get a pick from you. Who do you think is going to win this tournament at the end of the day on Sunday? Yeah, so those top five names on the leaderboard have five combined wins, four of them coming from Harris English, so there's not a lot of win experience up there. I'm going to go with Harry Hall. I liked what I saw from him later in his round on Saturday. This thing was going off the rails. He made back-to-back -back double bogeys, and it was an opportunity for him to eject from this leaderboard like we've seen so many others do on the PGA Tour week in and week out, but he steadied the ship. He made a couple of birdies coming in. He made a couple of strong putts coming in. He looked a lot more comfortable back in the mix. So I think that's a, a resilient round and one that's going to give him a lot of confidence heading into Sunday. All right, Harry Hall is the pick. That's Rick Gaiman. Rick, thank you so much. And you can hear much more from Rick on the First Cut podcast. It takes you inside the ropes to the PGA Tour and beyond. Previews, picks, deep dives into the storylines that propel the golf tour. It is the First Cut podcast. Download and subscribe wherever you podcast.